What's going on YouTube? My name is JV and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing our AEW Revolution 2023 predictions. All right, Ace Army, thank you for clicking on this video. As you guys saw by the title and the little sneak peek of the intro that we are doing our Revolution 2023 predictions for the AEW pay-per-view that is taking place this Sunday on March 5th. So let's waste no time and get straight into my picks. And guys, remember, comment your picks and you don't have to agree with me on everything. Just respect my opinion and who I think is going to win. And before we get started, guys, keep in mind, this is being recorded before AEW Dynamite that is taking place on March 1st. So card could change and more matches could be added. But like I just said, let's get straight into my picks. Up first, we're going to talk about Ricky Starks versus Chris Jericho. And the Jericho Appreciation Society is banned from ringside in this match. And honestly, this is going to be a really good match. We know Ricky Starks has beat Jericho before. Jericho's been on a losing streak. He lost to Action Andretti when he made his debut. And Jericho's just been going downhill, even though I like the JAS. But in this match, it's going to be good. Ricky Starks is definitely looking like a future star in all elite wrestling. But for this match, I'm going to pick Ricky Starks because he's absolutely. Next up, we're going to talk about the Texas death match and it's John Moxley versus Hangman Adam Page. And this match is going to be great. Two former AEW world champions. And honestly, I think this is going to be probably or possibly match of the night. Because I feel like these two guys can kill it in the ring. They have, I guess, chemistry. It works. Even though, unfortunately, Moxley accidentally hurt Hangman a couple months ago. That gave him that concussion and he was out for a while. But in this match, I'm going to pick Hangman Page gets his revenge on John Moxley. We also have the TNT title on the line. And that is Samoa Joe, which is your champion, defending against Wardlow. Wardlow. Got his ponytail cut, and he just looks like a normal guy now. But moving on from that, I feel like Wardlow will get his revenge eventually. But I feel like the king of television, uh, the Ring of Honor TV champion, I think it is. I don't know. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen. But I think Wardlow will lose to the king of television. I was going to say TV and television, but I'm going with the king of television, Wardlow, retaining the TNT title. The AEW Trios titles are also on the line, and the House of Black, one of my favorite factions, is challenging my favorite faction in AEW, and they are the champions. The Elite is defending the belts, like I just said, against the House of Black, but this is going to be really good. I feel like Kenny Omega and the Bucks are tremendous talents, all the way from their New Japan stuff to now, and the House of Black needs that push, but I don't think it's that time yet, but I wouldn't be mad if they won, you know what I mean? But... For this match, it's pretty obvious. I'm going with the Elite retaining, mm, excuse me, retaining the AEW Trios Tag Team Belts. Next, we have the AEW World Tag Team Championships. The Gun Club, or the Guns, whatever, Austin and Colton, are definitely against the Acclaimed, Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett, and To Be Determined. Like I just mentioned earlier on, that I don't know who that team is because this is taking place before AEW Dynamite that is happening March 1st. But honestly, I think the Acclaimed will get the belt back because they're so over with the fans. They love them when they're champs. But I would not be surprised if the Guns come out on top and win this match as a great heel tag team. AEW Women's World Champion Jamie Hayter is defending against two former WWE women in Soraya, formerly known as Paige, and Ruby Soho, formerly known as Ruby Riot. But this is going to be an instant classic i feel like this is gonna be really good even though i love my girl jamie as you can see i got the koozie from the pro wrestling crate a couple months ago but this match is gonna be really good it seems like to be the only women's match on the card so far which is kind of crazy i feel like my girl Britt baker dmd should have a match but i'm honestly gonna love this match because i'm a huge jamie hater fan and since I'm a huge Jimmy Hater fan, I'm going to go with Jimmy Hater retaining the AEW, AEW, AEW Women's Championship. And finally, the main event of the evening, we have the AEW World Championship match. 
and it is MJF defending his title against Brian Danielson, the American Dragon, in a 60-minute Ironman match. And this match is going to feel like forever, I feel like. I feel like it's going to drag and drag and drag. But I love MJF. I like Brian, And I feel like it's going to be a great match, possibly match of the past, like, three years of AEW history, ever since I think they got established in, like, 2019. But these two have been in a feud for quite some time now, to be honest. But I really don't have much to say. I just know MJF is the better heel. I don't know if he'll like win the match, like in-ring style kind of match. Like not win-win, but like win in the ring. If that makes sense. I don't know if you guys got what I'm trying to put down there. But for this match, I got MJF retaining his AEW World Championship. I just don't see him losing until like double or nothing or further. All right, YouTube, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to like, comment down below your picks, and subscribe. Because you don't want to miss another upload. We are on the road to 300 subscribers and the road to WWE 2K23. So you guys do not want to miss that. And we are like 240 now. So we're almost there. We're like 60 away. So be part of the journey. Join the Ace Army. And you'll be golden and set and ready to go. And part of this wonderful community we are building. But that is all. I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great day. And I will see you soon. Take care, guys.